Capricorn, Capricorn, welcome to the channel, welcome to the channel Infinity 2, T Infinity here back again with another message for you, so today we're taking a look into your energy for September, okay, this is going to be Capricorn's energy for September. September. I was going to do top of the week, top of the week, but we are already on Tuesday, so I figured we'll just do it for September. All right, so this is going to be for September 1st, 2nd. Okay, this is going to be for the ending of the week. All right, this is going to be for the end of the week. We're not even about to do no midweek. <laughs> So whenever you find this video, this is when it, whenever it resonates with you for real, for real, okay? Today is August 30th, 2022, and today we're going to be taking a look into your energy this Virgo season. All right, Capricorn, your earth sign as well, and sacral chakra already popped out for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome! This channel, we um, talk about what the Most High and the Archangels have for you, and we talk about... Um, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So, if this video resonates with you, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, and subscribe. Okay, the sun is going down, so I hope it's not getting too dark. If it starts to get too dark, I will, I will fix that, okay? So, wow, something is messy. <laughs> I'm already seeing that. Something is kind of messy when it comes to you, Capricorn. All right, Um, the frequency of sacral chakra, the orange flower of life stimulates and supports our ability to flow with our desires and creative power to manifest the success and abundance in our life so this is what you're doing capricorn you're manifesting different things in your life right now success abundance and you you're doing this and this is really going to be showing up in september the first week i'm hearing of september so from this Thursday till next Thursday, wow. All right, the next seven days is what I'm hearing. Look, eight, alchemy. That's manifestation. Okay, so you're manifesting right now, Capricorn. Number three, and you opening up your chakras, chakra by chakra. You open, You could be wearing yellow or orange right now. You could be eating a lot of bananas or oranges. I'm also seeing that. You grounded, Capricorn. Look at your energy. Earth. You earth sign, right? So this is definitely about you. You're in your energy. I'm seeing that. That is beautiful. And let's see what else we got for the Capricorns. You are. The frequency of solar plexus chakra is the frequency that supports our sense of self personal power and willpower this is also the knowing of what you contribute to the whole okay so you know what you contribute to the whole you are cleansing you're cleansing and activating and aligning your chakras that's what you're doing right now and you're doing this to heal you're doing this to heal capricorn okay some of you could be um, having stomach issues right now. Some of you could be having like a stomach ache or you could be crampy or you could be something like that. All right. And discernment is at the bottom of the deck. And this is the second time discernment came out. So this is definitely a time to be aware, a time to be alert, a time to be, um, I'm hearing, present in the moment. Okay. Be present in the moment because... You aligning, activating, and cleansing your chakras, cleansing, aligning, and activating your chakras, and this is causing you a healing, which is going to cause you to get information, like I'm hearing DNA activations. That's what I'm hearing here for you, Capricorn, so you could be getting some type of DNA activation, all right, and the frequency of discernment says supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from an inner balance and a detached from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom. So, yeah, you you are healing yourself at the same time. You detaching yourself from people, places and things that no longer serve you and you're healing. You're healing yourself. 
So if this video is resonating with you, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, and be sure to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe, Capricorn. I would love to have you a part of the family. All right, let's see what else we have going on for the Capricorn. Thank you. A win-win. A win-win outcome. Okay, so you have a win-win situation ahead of you. Yes, look. Didn't I say something about the banana? Run it back. I said you could probably be eating bananas and oranges. This is yellow and orange. Okay, come on now. Most hot is in this building. For some of you, you eating chicken. And some of you, you eating bananas. All right, and oh, what, what's going on here? All right, something is blocked for you. This is what probably this is. You could, Capricorns, you could have had an upset stomach. Something could have been blocked. Some of you could have been constipated. I'm hearing that. Okay, some of you could have been having like some type of, I'm hearing drink probiotics. I don't know, I just heard probiotics. <laughs> so some of you could be drinking probiotic yeah cut ties it's something that you need to cut ties with when it comes to your diet for some of you capricorn for others of you it's somebody that you need to cut ties with because they toxic they be wanting you to do a lot of toxic shit but you want to be on some healthy shit that's what i'm hearing here yeah look tough it out at the bottom of the deck it's like you know what you're supposed to be doing capricorn but you're not doing it because you because you with somebody that don't want to do it you with somebody that be like, all right, we'll do it, but then y'all never do it. Like, you might want to change your diet. This person be like, all right, I ain't going to eat meat. And then this person, you see them eating a chicken sandwich. You be like, yo, I thought you just said you weren't going to eat no meat for a week. They like, man, yo, you know I had to have me some chicken wings or something like that. You feel me? But that's not what you want. You want to be more healthy for some of you. That's what I'm seeing here. All right, for others of you, you need to have discernment discernment when it comes to people that are blocking your healing. That's for others of you, okay? Cycles. Cycles. Because the cycles is changing. For some of you, I'm hearing you're getting older, not younger. Okay, for others of you, I'm hearing like that's what somebody is telling you. For others of you, I'm hearing, um, look. Because somebody, somebody wishing bad on you. Somebody is wishing bad on you, number 13. Some of you could... Could have been sick, but y'all healed yourself, and now people want to know how how did you do that. That's for some of my Capricorns, okay? Somebody want to know how the hell did you heal from whatever it was that you had. For others of you, somebody wants you to heal them. That's what I'm seeing here. For others of you, somebody want to block your healing and cause you to continue to be sick, and you need to cut ties from that person. Told you, Capricorn, somebody still want to hurt you. Love. There's somebody that said they love you. Oh, I love you. No, you don't. Because you don't even want to do shit to better my health. You just want to keep on dragging me down to hell. Chaos. I'm trying to tell you. And this is the person that you need to cut ties with Capricorn, high places of earth. And this is something that you, I feel like you already know. You already know. Number three. Yeah, you balance. You balance three to nine. Three to nine, three, six, nine. The monkey jumped line. The monkey got choked by a telephone line. Okay, so somebody is on the phone talking about you behind your back. Somebody is on the phone telling people like, oh, this person supposed to be on a diet, losing weight, and all they doing, want to go to buffets all day and, and stuff like that. Look, forbidden. Forbidden. And this person is forbidden from you. Most is about to block the hell out this person. Little do they know. Yeah, because the ties is being cut. Size is being cut when it comes to this person. Because they all they're trying to do is block you from healing. That's it. Because they got addictions. And they want you to have addictions too, Capricorn. 11. 11. Okay? Number 11. And number 11 came out before on the sacred geometry, which is belief. And it's like, somebody don't want you to have no belief. Even though you a Capricorn, people think, oh, Capricorn is the devil. Da -da -da -da, but nah. That's not the case. What's up, Mo? So like I was saying, this person may have a drinking issue as well. And when you drink that sugar, so sugar makes you gain weight. So when you eating a lot, you drink, when you eating unhealthy, you drinking alcohol, like this is a recipe for disaster. Disaster. So you're putting an end to this nine and 10. Because this person is forbidden. 
<laughs> it's not funny, but yo, people be still hanging around people when they know these people is toxic. It's like, do do you have to be around this person that bad? You don't, because you're beautiful. You're a beautiful ass person. Look at this. You a rose. And for some of you, you know that, because you have confidence. Look at this. Look at the green in the back. And you glow. And you glow. Your heart chakra is open. But for others of you, you're not sure. You're not sure of yourself. And and this person wants to keep making you angry and keep you bonded, keep you in chains. Because they already know that they have, um, that you're going to tough it out. They already know that you're going to tough it out. And after a while, you're going to walk away. You're going to walk away from this person. That's what I see because I feel like you don't, have time to continue to be unhealthy for the period capricorn so we're gonna get into this message i'm gonna pull some tarot we're gonna pull some tarot for the capricorns two of cups at the bottom of the deck already y'all when i put my deck out so this is definitely somebody that say they love you but this person um they don't they're not with you being healthy because they got pride issues they got pride issues this could be a leo for some of you yeah, I told you this was a person that loves you. Good lovers. For others of you, 1122. This could be a twin flame or this could be a Gemini. Solar plexus. Yeah, you trying to balance and harmonize out the situation. And so are your ancestors. They trying to balance and harmonize out the situation too. That's why you got a three here and a three here. You could have been seeing 33, 1133. I'm hearing some of y'all saw that. Or 1113. Some of you could have been seeing that as well. Healing. Look, and somebody was telling you something about this person, I feel like, and that they was going to get karma. And now this is confirmation. This is confirmation right here that you are healing. This could have been a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or could have been a Taurus that was going to tell you that you need to cut ties with this person. They're not healthy for you, Capricorn. Okay? Why you show us win win? Because you a star. But it's a challenge for you to heal yourself and become healthy. Because this person, they don't want you to. They want to just continue continue you in the same pattern. Just sort of cycles. This is a pattern. What is this? It's. It could be good. It could be good. It could be good if this person won't childish. That's what most of I are saying. If this person won't childish and fickle in the emotion, this relationship could be good. Or this situation. Cut ties. See, the world card, the world card. But now you got in ties with this person and you closing the cycle off with them because the cycle is closed because this person wants to keep you in addictions. See, see, five of pentacles in the challenge position because this person is trying to do this, but it's like you and your ancestors, your spirit guides and everybody else is fighting against this because they spying on you 13, 11, 13, 13 and watching you watching you and then i say you could have been seeing 11 11 11 13 i said that didn't i say that i did okay so why did you show us this um summon this summon please because they tried to summon some poverty towards you or some addictive energy towards you and it didn't get to you it didn't get to you okay high priestess of earth it didn't get to you see Two of Pentacles. They tried. They paid for some work to get sent to you, but it didn't get sent to you. Now they mentally in prison, Capricorn, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a Leo, because you still sitting pretty. And now the police could be watching. The police could be watching somebody. Yeah, or you could be moving forward away from this person, away from this chaos. Either or, take it how it resonates for some of you, because somebody got an addiction. The police is watching, all right? I don't know who that's for, but anywho. Addicted, addicted for the Capricorn. Yeah, see, watching, but in jealousy and envy, because you want to change your life, but they don't. Tough it out, tough it out. Are you sure it's tough it out, please? Two of Wands, because you want to tough the situation out because you already made your choice. You want to elevate yourself. You don't want to keep being bogged out and stuck with addictions and heavy weight and all this, you know, negative negativity. You want to become light as a feather. That's what you want to do. And they're watching you to make sure that that does not happen. 
That is not going to happen. So you need to have discernment straight up. And what did I say? Didn't I say something about the belief? The belief. Have belief. Number 11. Number 11. You could have been seeing 1120. If you saw that, this is for you. Okay? Because you have the power to change the situation. Because somebody definitely, 1515 on this clock, wants a tower for you. All right? So walk away from this. Cha-cha-cha your ass away. Drink your tea and work out. Okay? Because somebody better than that will come. But you know. It is going to get worse before it get better. Stormy weather. So I hope this message resonated with you. We're going to post some monology and angel answers. And we're going to get up on out of here. Don't forget, comment for that September giveaway. All right, let's get a couple from here for the Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. All right, somebody is having a studio night or day. All right, Capricorn, you do not have no unclean spirits around you. Point blank, period, poo. Because you, you want to get... Healed. You're healing anyway. That's what I'm seeing here. You're healing. Chastity. Chastity. Okay, you got chastity. And one more, please, for the Capricorn. Oh, that was a lot. Secret meeting. Okay, so somebody's having a secret meeting about you and about the things that you want to do. Okay, they always be on some call me back later mess. All right, this is the person that this is that wants to keep you bound in the situation that you're in. All right, let's pull some analogy and we're going to get pull some angel answers and get up out of here. I hope this message resonated with you. Monology for the Capricorn. The energy is gaining momentum. Crescent moon. That's the moon we're in right now, y'all. Waxing moon. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. And I've been getting carnal energy too. Nothing will come of this situation. See? Because this person is fake as hell. A new start. New moon. This is the moon that just happened. All right? So, yeah. It's time to take action, Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Aries for some of you. All right? Angel answers. Angel answers. Yes. Yes. This is true. This is true. All right, you need help, ask your angels. They're here to help you. And no, no, do not deal with this person. That's with an exclamation mark. This person wants to keep you bound, and they do not have belief, Capricorn. You are strong enough to be anything you want to be. And even though you're going through a tile right now, it's a powerful, a powerful change happening for you. Recovery. All right, so if you like the book of personal, my information is in the description below. Thank you for tuning in to the end. I love you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.